In our next example on free fall, we're going to find the maximum height. Now this looks a lot like the previous example that I've shown you. A person at a height of 20 meters throws the ball upwards, starting with initial velocity at 15 meters per second. But now what we're going to try and figure out is how high will the ball go before it starts falling down again. So what's the key here? When you throw an object up, just as it reaches its maximum height, the velocity at that very moment, that instant, will be zero before it comes back down. So let's assume that that's the final height, and that then also would be the final velocity. Also notice that they don't tell us how long it takes to get to the maximum height. So to find an equation to do this problem, we probably want to go and work with this equation because time is not required. V final now will be assumed to be zero and reaches the maximum height. V initial is given, and G is a known quantity, so the only unknown here is Y the additional height that we'll gain from our starting point. So let's go ahead and use that equation. So we have v final in the y direction squared equals v initial in the y direction squared plus 2g times the change in the height, delta y. Notice that the final height will be zero, so this goes to zero, like that. And then if we move the v initial y uh, squared to the other side, and actually I'm going to, yeah, let's do that first. So v initial y squared, that becomes minus, when I move it across the equal sign, is equal to 2g times delta y. Moving the equation around, so we have delta y times 2g equals a minus v initial y squared, like that. And then divide both sides by 2g, we get delta y is equal to minus v initial y squared divided by 2g. Now we're ready to find the change in the height here. Again, remember, the change in the height would be this height right here, so this would be our delta y, the initial height that it gains starting from this point until it reaches its maximum height. Okay, so this is equal to a minus, that would be a positive 15 meters per second squared divided by 2g, 2 times a minus 9.8. Notice I, I'm not putting all the units in, so it's a lot cleaner to work with. The answer will be in meters. Notice that this negative will cancel out that negative, and this is not affected by the squaring v initial y. This square only applies to the v, not to the negative sign. Okay, with our calculator, we got 225 in the numerator, divided by 2, divided by 9.8, and we get this is equal to 11.48 meters, delta y. All right, now that's not really our final answer. That's the additional height gained by the ball to reach this height. The maximum height will be that additional height plus the 20 meters. So h max will be equal to 20 meters plus delta y, which is 20 meters plus 11.48 meters. And so this would be equal to 31.48 meters out to two decimal places. And that's how we do that problem. So to find maximum height, the assumption is at the very top right here, v equals zero at the very height before it comes back down. You use that information to eliminate the v final right there, turn it to zero, and then there's only one unknown left in there. You can solve for your delta y. And that's how you do that problem.